Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battletech. Uh, so today I would like to do two contracts, so let's start playing right away. We are uh, currently refitting multiple mechs and um, two of our people are injured, so it's about time that we uh, leave uh, the current system and move to another one so that during the travel we can like finish uh the some of the uh some of the refits and more importantly heal our people uh, but before we do anything let's quickly check our uh pilots if we can get some uh, promotions we may have enough experience uh already threshold for accurate i don't think so at least not yet receiving you at 2100 is not enough for decker a uh, decker might get something Yeah, I think I said that I wanted to give him the Master Tactician, but uh, I'm still saving experience for that. And uh, Contune can wait. Okay, so we can just uh, go to contracts, and uh, I would like to do these two contracts. They are not that difficult, uh, but uh, they should be quite decent. We can get uh, a lot of money from this one, and I want to get uh, Salvage. Uh, from the dead or alive. It's assassination, so there's a good chance that we would uh, get another heavy mag or at least uh, multiple parts of one. Let's go all in on the salvage then and uh, accept. I think it's like 18 days to get uh, the, to the planet, so more than enough time to heal our people and um, finish the refit of Kintaro. Okay, temporary improvements. What the hell is this? Yang arrives at the morning briefing in a fall mood. Come on there. Uh, if uh, one more pilot shows up to complain that their favorite mech isn't ready, I'm going to uh, pitch someone out an airlock. Darius intervenes. How about we draft some of them to actually help? It might be educational for them and useful for you. Dr. Marad has uh, been Keeping in thought. The Argo has very powerful systems that are currently offline. If we could get them working, even only temporarily, it might help. What are our options? Draft some pilots to help or Argo repair power conduits, temporarily hook up the automation systems or temporarily hook up the refit harness. Uh, I think we want the refit harness. I'm actually not sure what's uh, the big difference but we are currently refitting three max if we could speed it up it would be amazing uh let's see kinder should be done in seven days too bad i can't see the other numbers we have plus two tech points for 14 days well I don't think that will be such a huge difference, but I will help. Yang is more excited about Dr. Merritt's assistance than babysitting some uh, reluctantly drafted mech jockeys. Um, later that week, Farah checks in with an update. Commander, these Star League era systems are amazing but challenging. The refit harness are partially working now, maybe for a couple of weeks. Checking some calculations on her uh, ubiquitous, not sure about the pronunciation, uh, data pad. She arches an eyebrow. If we can spare the seal bells, I'd like to spend the time to make this improvement permanent. The work on the power condens has all the prep we needed to do it. I'm ready when you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, aren't we actually working on that? No, we are working on the mech bay, but the next will probably be uh, this kind of upgrade so that the, the refits don't take like two months. Okay, continue. And keep going. What does it look like? Ah, too late. I wanted to check the other refits, how long that's gonna take. Okay, can we see it now? There we go, 21 and 46 days. It's actually pretty significant. Network order is complete, boss. Okay, engineering, ship upgrades. Problem is we don't have that much money, so I have to be careful. Uh, what are our options? Power systems... I don't think that... We need another upgrade to power systems. I would like to upgrade our, our drives to improve power conduits. Um, hmm. 
This is one that I really wanted to get. Automation, refit harness. How expensive are these? 70? That's not too bad in 20 days. The same thing. How expensive is this upgrade? 60 and with 15 days but we need the, the power conduits that adds a lot of extra time okay i think we want the uh refit harness or how it's called yeah refit harness oh. all right i'll get the team on it right away okay so that's that and how long do we still need six days all the pilots are back in action. Uh, poker night. Alright, then it's poker night. Darius is uh, prowling outside your quarters as you return after dinner. Poker night. Darius first insisted because he said it would help uh, keep his skills sharp. He doesn't always win, so perhaps he's right. It's usually the senior stuff. Uh, he rubs into playing, although occasionally some other lucky crew member or a guest is invited to the table. But you are the boss. He can't make you play. Um, yeah, let's just uh, play casually for fun. I have no idea what to expect from this event. Uh, this is a decent uh, result. This is just a friendly game. Darius in tones as he uh, shuffles the deck of cards. Summer settles behind her... What the hell is Team Biqui Dark? Biqui Dark is the beer of the inner sphere, brewed with chocolate melt. Oh, really? It's a medium bodied beer with low bitterness and pleasant caramel aroma. Hmm. Sounds good. Uh, we'll just see about that. Darius meets her directly and smiles. You glance between Dr. Merritt and Yang and note their lack of enthusiasm. Then say, a nice friendly game sounds about right tonight. Ah, this is Samai. But uh, she makes a visible for it to relax. Darius shrugs and follows along. At the end of the, of the evening, Samai's pile of chips is not as large than everybody else's. And uh, she once again says, ha. Huh. You start to suspect that maybe she wasn't quite uh, treating the game as casual as everyone, everyone else. But well, who cares, right? As long as we get something positive from this, who cares who won? Um... And finally we arrived. So we should have enough max for this mission and we should have all the pilots available. So we, that means we can proceed and start this. Um, okay, Kintaro will be accurate on smack with the plus plus long range missiles. What else? Big draw for Behemoth sounds just about right. This is the quick draw with machine guns, so that's fine for Decker and the Centurion for Glitch. Okay, sounds good. Deploy. I hope that we meet at least one heavy mech for this, because if not, then this is such a waste of time. At least we get the experience, of course, that's something, but... Kinda need money. So if we don't get the heavy mech parts from this, then it really was a waste of money, at least. Uh, the war criminal you are hunting will be alone, the combat of pirate mercenaries that he's signed on with uh, will attack you on sight, with hunting, whatever. Okay, I like the terrain here. here. Let's zoom out. You can go through the forest and use this bridge as cover, or can we? Um, actually, they are here, so we can use uh, these hills as cover. Orders. 
So let's move as far as possible for Take now. Can leave the Kintaro in the forest, that's fine, it's the long range missiles. Uh, Glitch will follow Behemoth and Decker. Let's try to move Decker around. On my way. I want to see possible reinforcements coming from this side. Really don't want to get flanked. Good to go. Um, can go pretty far. I think I'd rather move into the forest. Oh wait, I did move Behemoth. Good. I for I a second thought that I moved to uh, Akron first. Um, What's up, boss? Don't think I can move close enough to get the sensor lock. Okay, we'll just uh, move as close move. as possible during this turn. You betcha. Oh, really? Two more contracts. Uh, we... I guess that will be a full lance of something, and then uh, the target on top of that. I think we have a pretty decent position. See what they're gonna do. Uh, so that's real light max, it seems. What is this? Jenner? I no, it's a log boost. Looks like too clanky for a Jenner. Yeah, it's a log boost. And. Uh, nothing yet. About this one, that's nothing either. Uh, is it another light mag? Really, full launch of light mags, and what was that? Maybe one medium. I'm pretty sure that we are not facing any heavy mags. Is it possible that we are facing five light mags? That would be a huge disappointment. Waiting for orders. We can wait. It's hoping that, that there will be another mech coming from somewhere. Ready for order. I guess that's not gonna happen. Acknowledged. Let's stay in the forest for now. I'll just Sensor lock the locust because there's way too much evasion. Sensors locked on. The five percent. Oh, whatever. At least we'll remove some evasion. All weapons. Pretty decent. Didn't expect so many missiles to hit. Ready for orders. Okay, Behemoth. This is still in the forest. Moving out. Okay, this should be a kill, I think. Targeting for an alpha strike. And I think Gullich will sprint this way as far as possible and try to get in melee range. Going turbo. I hope this is not the fire starter. Is it gonna be melee attack or nothing? 
Mondo. I don't think that uh, Decker is in melee range yet because of the forest. It kinda sucks. I'm really curious what the last mech might be. Barely hit, Commander. Okay. Good to go. Glitch. Possible that this is the only angle that we can use for attack. This thing. Okay. They are doing quite a lot of damage with the melee though. Gotta be good. And there is a knockback. I think I can let the village handle this. I'll just focus on other units now. Let's see, can Decker get in melee range? Oh, he can. be able to get this guy. Copy that. What is this? Another commando. Go for precision strike. If he hit with everything, he might be able to destroy the torso, at least the, the what was it, right torso. Taking the shot. I think we are through the armor. Oh, there is something. There might be something better than just light max. There's another locust. Lynch. What can I do for you? Gonna show off what you started. Ah! Come on. Stop playing with your food. Probably too much evasion. Let's just wait. And I need a sensor lock. Oh, oh, that hit meat. No. Why do they get the headshot in like every mission? It's so annoying. Good to go. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Can I still take it back? I can't. I wanted uh, to go for melee attack, but I guess it's too late for that now. Uh, fire. Acknowledged. Target neutralized. Yes, 
Yes, Commander. On my way. Thinking about multi target, but I think I'll just throw everything. Oh, it's only 40% chance to hit. Can we improve that? Yeah, 65. Sounds much better. That's interesting. Why would the spider attack a Kredon when there's exposed back of, I think it's Behemoth? a little bit of an overkill but we are not generating any heat so why not got it should have run when you had the chance what the heck was that standing by Aye, aye. And now I'm not sure which one of these two is the low cost. This one. Got a lock. Yep. Standing by. On my way, double time. about the last thing. I guess it would be something like Wolverine. Uh, the the last mech to have a spotter 
But now he has to move forward. Yeah, maybe it's bouldering. I can't take much more of this. No, I'm pretty sure that you can. Holding action, Commander. Okay, how can we get Decker up there? You have to move around. There's a chance there. That's not bad. I think about sensor locking, but I think it's necessary. We can just use all the morale that we build up and negate the evasion. Do we go after? Let's try to destroy the lag. Engaging target. Primary target damage, Commander. Well, a critical that hit. was easy. Now we just destroy the other lag and we are done. Orders. In percent. What the heck? Can I use precision strike to increase that chance? No. Interesting that when he was standing, we had like 70% chance to hit the lag. Taking the shot. I think all of this was hitting the lag actually. It has to be pretty close. What can I do for you? I read you, Commander. Moving out. I'm trying to avoid hitting any weapons. So that at least we can get maybe those as salvage. Race. Waiting for orders. Destroyed something hey, else. Mission. Well, so in the end, this probably was a waste of money. And we lost the pilot, so that really sucks. Now let's see. Get anything? Nope. All of this is garbage. I'll check the bulver. Actually, maybe it's not that bad. I could maybe refit the bulver in as like a, a reserve um, long range missile mag. Completed the commando. Two pieces of the locust. Uh, oh, if I sell all of this, then maybe it actually wasn't too bad. I think I scrapped that commando immediately. Ready to fight, Commander. 
Uh, Wolverine 6 arms are fairly flexible in terms of weapon ranges, tending somewhat more towards closer engagement. This is supported by their jump capability and pretty decent heat management. Okay, uh, our mech warriors are getting experience, I know. It's possible that we didn't finish that. Uh, that commando. Is it the mech bay? I will leave the Wolverine as it is for now. What we could visit is uh, a storage and check what we have here. What is this? We have two spiders. Don't think. Oh. Um, let's check the store, but I don't think that I can sell items from the storage. But first of all, let me check what we can buy here. Plus one damage. 25% crit. I'd like to get um, uh, LRM's 20s with plus one damage and plus one stability damage. That would be like the dream, but it's not here. What is this? Plus 10 stability damage for the AC-20. But I don't like the AC-20. It's like a weapon that... When it hits, it's nice, but it doesn't have that much ammo, and every time you miss, it feels so bad. I'm looking for some interesting mods, like leg mods or arm mods. Nothing that we uh, want here. I may buy the plus one damage. Long-range missiles. New weapon systems available. Plus two accuracy AC fives. Nah. Not four hundred and sixty-one k. Okay. Now, what can we sell? Oh, we can sell things from storage. Okay. What do we have? I think I'll check this uh, off camera, make sure that I'm not selling something I don't want to sell. Uh, and. Didn't we have some locusts for sale? Or is it possible I already sold those? Whatever. Uh, let's just do another contract. Oh, and we would have to leave the system. We lost the, sec the second mission that was here. Uh, recovery, and was this another assassination? It's 23 days to get to Panzer, but then we can immediately do uh, the Liberation Panzer mission. Okay, well, so there will be only one mission today. Uh, as I said, I will check uh, uh, the store again off camera and uh, probably sell some max. And uh, also, I'll move the pawns here uh, off camera. Don't have to record it, just uh, takes too long. And then we'll decide if we the aggressive negotiations but here i'm not sure if i should go for salvage or if i should go for uh, money because payment is pretty good but it's an assassination so with two and a half skulls the this the the mission should be a lot more difficult than the one that we did today and we could get some decent salvage from this or if we go for uh, the story mission and just make sure that we get the money plus some decent salvage. Maybe I will just do that. Maybe we will do another uh, another story mission in the next episode. Just progress through the mission a little bit. And uh, also 
once we are done with that, we should again be getting better and better missions. How does it look like with uh, the refits? 24 days for the grasshopper. We actually could wait for the grasshopper. How long does it take to get to Ponsir? 23 okay, days. So we will have everything ready for this mission. We could just do this one and test the new setup with the Grasshopper and the Orion before we do go for the mission that where we really shouldn't fail. Well, I will think about that off camera. Uh, for today, we are done. So, as usual, I hope that you liked today's mission. I hope that you're going to join me for the uh, next episode again. And uh, until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.